Um, you know, we've, we've definitely brought the intelligence quotient back up into this interview, this whole whatever this thing has turned into. Uh, so I'll have to bring it to another level and be like, all right, death metal vocals. You ever use it for other stuff besides singing? You ever go through a drive through and order like a bunch of tacos at Taco Bell? <laughs> No, I haven't. Actually. Rape soul of Jaluma. You, know you, know you know ever do that one? Or like, I'll tell a little story that's kind of funny, I guess. I mean, to me, when I was younger, I was in a band called Paralysis. And this was when I was uh, like 18, 19, mm -hmm. something there. And it was like a Cookie Monster death metal band, just all, you know, low vocals and everything. And um, uh, I hung out with some dudes in some other bands. They had this one band that played, and they were kind of like a little bit more alternative sounding, mm -hmm. you know? And like back when I was in that band, the big thing was like the Soundgarden, Nirvana, you know, that kind of thing. And so these other guys in this other band I hung out with, they did some alternative stuff. I would go hang out with them in the French Quarter and stuff on the weekends. And uh, we got along fairly well. And one night we were at this bar, and these dudes came up, and I think they were from like South America somewhere. And they started like telling us some stuff in, in, in Spanish and stuff. And there was a guy with us who knew Spanish. And he kind of stood up and he was like, man, you guys, you know, I know what you're saying. Don't come over here and start fucking running your mouths and everything. Because I, I know exactly what you're saying to us. And we're just sitting at this table and having some drinks and you just want to come sit here and start mouthing off. And they're like, you don't know how to speak Spanish. You don't know what we're saying. You know, you're a stupid American. One, two, three, learn this language. And, and he's just like, just relax. We're just sitting here hanging out. And then um, it kind of got a little feisty and everything. It was just trying to get calmed down. And it kind of moved outside of the bar. And then a fight ensued after that. And everybody was like, it was like four or six of them I can't fully remember man mm -hmm. but I remember the end point of the fight I had a one of the dudes I had my hands around his neck and he was on the ground strangling him and I was yelling at him in the death metal voice <laughs> I was like I'm gonna fucking kill you and I was squeezing like squeezing his neck and then after he's like you are trying to choke me man and I was just like bro you just fucking everybody was just hanging out having a good time and then you had to come up and start shit so you know, I'm not a violent person, but I guess one point when things just go over the edge, you know. So you don't you don't make love to your woman in death metal voice? No. You're never like uh, no. no. <laughs> she would be she'd be totally like totally lost the moment. Get the fuck. <laughs> just leave me on the couch. Tonight. Yeah, she goes, Yeah. That's cool for your live shows, but not here. <laughs> not on this stage. <laughs> nope, not on this stage. It's gonna be you and digits tonight. Yeah, but no, that story. I don't know. Some people might find that story a little <laughs> shitty because I don't know. Because you choke some guy? <laughs> yeah, whatever. You know. I mean, I don't. I don't know Spanish. I'm sorry, but you do. Sometimes a dude needs to be choked out, bro. That's just true. They need, some people need an ass whipping. I mean, they could have honestly just sat down. And we probably would have had drinks with them. But they came down and a couple of them were talking shit. And it just so happened that a guy with us knew Spanish. And he was just like, what's your problem, man? We're just hanging out, having a drink. You go, come talk shit. I know exactly what you're saying. And then it just fucking Boom. blew up. Escalation. Yeah. And I'm pretty calm. I try to keep, all right, it's all right, man. It's cool. It's cool. We got outside. And then people want to try to take cheap shots. And I have a reach. And I have big hands. <laughs> And I grabbed the guy by his neck, and I was just like, "Hooky monster vocals on his ass." <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, that was my young days, though. Oh uh, so. yeah, never again, never again. No, no, I don't. Positive. I try not to get too fired up. <laughs> just, <laughs> just only when Sammy's around. Yeah, only when Sammy's around. <laughs> I'll kill everybody. Is fuck, fuck, uh, fuck this planet. Of course, <laughs> unless unless as long as there's Jaeger, then everybody's okay. If they run out of Jaeger. Everybody's Shit. fucking dead. I've been there. You start punching refrigerators. I'll oh, yeah, bad news. There's, and, and there's, I have to agree. Up. There's something in Jägermeister that brings out wow. the no, devil. No, wait, 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 wait. What? Wait, uh, uh, wait. Swack? No, no. Swack? Alpine. <laughs> okay, we have some funny stories with Swack, don't we? Oh, yeah. They got a lot. Alpine. Okay. <laughs> there's a difference between Swack and Jägermeister in the essence that Swack makes you an emotional wreck. <laughs> <laughs> Jägermeister turns you into a, a demonic beast. fighting beast. <laughs> was Swack 
Dude, you? I remember, okay, because I don't drink much, but <laughs> when I did drink a little bit when I was younger, me and my friend went out and we drank a lot of Jägermeister, and I wanted to fight every bush and tree around. <laughs> I thought they were individuals, and I was like, ready. I was like, this is going to happen now. <laughs> What's funny, though, I had this friend, he would get, he played in a, I don't even want to say the band or anything, but let's just say he played in a band that was in the local scene, and we had this, we had this little party we were hanging out at, and he would get fucked up, and he would want to fight a wall. <laughs> he would just basically be arguing with the wall. What? 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 And it's just like, exactly. he'd be at somebody's house, and he exactly put, he, he punched fucking through the wall, like, at some dude's house we don't even know, because he, he got they mad. Talk shit. The wall talking shit to him, because well, he was least, so fucked up. That's something, if he throws a fist, he knows he's going to hit it at least. Say they, it, it, they actually, see this, they actually go, a famous, Plus. a famous New Orleans hey, band. What the, what's funny about this, people? New Orleans. Uh-huh. Bunch of fucking rednecks. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. That's cool. How about you? I know you're a big fan of Zwak, Sammy. Okay. L- last couple I tours, you and Zwak got along different. great. You know what? It tastes, it tastes pretty close. It tastes pretty close, but Zwak makes you an emotional wreck. If you want somebody to break down to the worst possible like, emotional <laughs> state ever, everyone's having a great time. Like, 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 if you want to find, no, check it out. If you want to find out any person's deepest emotional disasters, <laughs> swack. make them drink swack yeah, all night, and you dude. will find out. Yeah. That one yeah. Time. yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. You would give it like some dude you don't know. He'd be like, I got raped by a priest. Oh, and fucking, show me the doll where he touched. My dad used to stick a pole in my butt. Exactly. They'll, that shit will do that. I'm serious, bro. If you feed swack to anybody, it'll make them break down to their worst emotional desires. Okay, that's that. Jägermeister, it's it's like... At least you can have balls on Jägermeister. No, yeah, but check it out. On Jägermeister, it's fun, it's fun, it's fun, and then all of a sudden, that's when it hits and it takes off to fucking destroy. Wait, they should just give the military Jägermeister. Like, all of a sudden, when they're going in for the attack, shots of Jägermeister, shots of Jägermeister, shots of Jägermeister. Shots of Jägermeister. Attack! And it would just be destructive. Well, you know, all the walls would get fucked up. Swag, yeah. swag is like the, the walls would really get fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> swag is all the those, opposite. All those dirt walls talking shit. Swag is like just total doom. What was one of your favorite moments on Swag, Sammy? Uh, I, don't, I don't have <laughs> they don't, favorite moments. They don't on remember when they were on Swag. Uh, I don't have. One of my favorite moments of Swack where uh, at least they at least they remember when they're drinking Jagermeister. Yeah. yeah. You know, we were playing in Orlando. And I drank oh, a couple of bottles. Come <laughs> off stage. This guy. Focus on him. Walk off stage and like he's pissed. And like he wants to beat the fuck out of me, dude. <laughs> so you played like shit. Was, fuck you, fuck. So I took this guitar. So I still own actually. <laughs> And I was like fucking mad because he was mad at me. And just like tossed it 25 feet across the fucking club. Because he was mad at me. How'd that turn out? Uh, ESP guitars. <laughs> Still in tune. <laughs> what a fucking line. Hey, am I wrong? Hey, am I right? If he wasn't endorsed, he fucking would be now. Jeez. Yeah, back to guitars. Yeah. Will with will withstand a, a session on with Sammy on Swack getting chucked across <coughs> a club still in tune. Oh boy. Sammy, thank you for the shout out. No problem, hey, dude, man. Hey, not for real, man. Oh, I fucking pissed. Oh, hey. me, thank you. Just a little commentary yeah, yeah, here. We're doing yeah. Louisiana boy, Nola Bounce. Live in Louisiana right here, man. Showing love, man. Oh. Whiskey a go go. Hell yeah. <laughs> Goat whore, guess so. And Barnett in the pit, ripping it up. Oh, you know it, buddy. You know, Got to get these oh, L.A. Oh, too oh, cool oh, for thanks. school dudes. Get them moving. <laughs> Dude, he's they, got... They spawned How many this. times have you, you know had saying? a bad experience with the Too many, but I'm speaking of the devil. The minute this guy came into the band, all these dudes would say is, hey, by the way, we got this big new bass player. Kick his fucking ass for us. Yeah, I think y'all did say that. The first time he met me, I gave him a fucking mad dog. Gave him a, a, a vice hand grip, handshake, and he's like, uh, hey, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm James. Like, yeah, all right, dude. Yeah, you were on, up on the obituary bus. Yep. We are getting fucking shanked. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite was the energy drink that they had with them. They're like, don't drink that. 
Just whatever you do, that shit is, it'll fuck you up. Please don't touch it. We were getting fucking janked. Janked like no other time. <laughs> All right, we've definitely taken up enough of your time. We've got stories for days. Yeah? Plenty. You have no idea. Oh, no, obviously. Not everything's for public consumption, though. But thank you guys for uh, throwing on just a hell of a show tonight. And uh, just being the guys that you are, man. Keep putting out badass music. Even with this guy. Make me blush, man. Stop. All right, all right. Don't give me that shit. Oh, bromance. <laughs> all right. Peace.